Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 applied paper. Here we're looking at uh, question one. A sixth form college has 84 students in year 12 and 56 students in year 13. The head teacher selects a stratified sample of 40 students stratified by year group. Describe how this sample could be taken. Well, what you want to do is for the 40 students that you want to select, you want to select the right proportion of year 12 students uh, against year 13 students. You can obviously see here you'd pick more year 12 students than year 13 students, but by how many? And this is how you would do it. Uh, what we need to first work out is the number of total students. That's 140 students in total. Now, the proportion of them that are year 12 students is 84 out of 140. Then we're going to multiply that by 40 because we want that proportion of 40 students, and that will get us about 24 students. We'll do exactly the same thing for the year 13 students. We have 140 in total, 56 of those are year 13. So this is the proportion of um, thir year 13 students that we want and that's going to be of 40 um, as a sample so that's going to be 16 students. So you need to randomly select 24 year 12 students and 16 year 13 students. Okay you, you can use a, a, any kind of random way of uh, calculating which of those 24 or 16 students you pick. Moving on to part B, the head teacher is investigating the relationship between the amount of sleep, S hours, uh, that a student's, that each student had uh, the night before they took an aptitude test and their performance in the test P marks. For the sample of 40 students, he finds the equation of the regression line of S on P, so P on S, uh, to be this equation here. With reference to this equation, describe the effect that an extra 0.5 hours of sleep may have on average on a student's performance in the aptitude test. So the answer to this would be just to um, put 0.5 in, so ignore this bit here because that's just the um, that's just like the y-intercept. We want to see what the effect of an extra 0.5 hours is going to be. So times 0.5 by 5.6 and we're going to get 2.80 extra marks. So this is an increase in 2.8 marks. We wouldn't uh, include the 26.1 because that's like a baseline um, score on the test. Um, you then just you only plug in the 0 0.5 into S to just multiply it by the uh, 5.6 uh, and that will give you the increase um, if you sleep for another half an hour. Describe one limitation of this regression model. Would someone could oversleep and do better on the test when they're actually not there? If they sleep uh, for 14 hours and just completely miss the test uh, altogether, then they've, they've obviously missed the test and will, by the model, get a better mark. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer for question one, worth five marks in total there. Let's now move on to question two.